Today we're going to be tying a classic McKenzie staple pattern called the Half Down Golden. Uh, we're starting with a size 8, 5262. You can use a 2302, you can use a 200R, a lot of different choices as far as hook goes. I've already taken my 150 denier Lagerton thread back to the back end. I'm going to tie in the first step, which is the egg cluster. We're going to be using ice stub and peacock black. We'll pull off a small little gather of that. Don't need much again. It's a little shiny egg sack on the back. The original pattern was tied with regular peacock, uh, but as we've kind of used it a bunch, that, that tends to be the first thing to go. So we're going to replace it with a product that's a little bit more usable egg sack in place. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in uh, two little tails made out of crystal flash. And these are going to double as your rib in just a minute. This gives the body a little segmentation and also flash. I'm going to take a piece that's about four inches long, six inches long. I'm going to isolate the two strands and then I'm going to tie it into place using the egg sack to kind of help flare that out. Then I'll pull that kind of off into the side for a minute. We're going to use that as a rib in j just a second here. That out of our way. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a, a sulfur orange fine and dry. Pretty good likely match to your golden stones. Let me even know this is a you know driven golden stone pattern. We use this all the way through the fall with an orange body or sure. A lot of changes you could make into it, adjusting the color accordingly to the bugs in your area. Makes a great salmon fly pattern for that for that matter too. Let's change the dubbing up a little bit. So now I've got a little body dubbed in there. I'm just gonna kind of twist that those two additional strands of crystal flash and wrap them forward as the rib. So I have a, uh, a wing cutter here. Um, this is one of the River Road wing cutters, the stonefly wing in the size matching the fly that you're using. Uh, it's a pretty easy operation. Comes with a rubber mat in which to punch your, fo your foam out on. Um, you take your foam, lay it down on the, uh, the mat here, line up your razor cutting edge with the edge of the foam, Simply push down and it pops out your wing. So I've got a little stone fly shaped wing. Nice thing about using this tool, you can do it with scissors, but every single one comes out exactly the same. That's what we're looking for, uniformity. I'll lay that in as the underwing. And adding a little flotation, but one of the other nice things about this little foam insert here is, is that uh, it helps to get the fly up on plane. So it, when the bugs are doing their egg laying, you can throw it out there, get the thing on plane, and have it skate across the surface. Probably some uh, applications for steelhead fishing as well. Skaters. So I've got some bull elk here. And make a relatively substantial gather of bull elk. We like flotation again. So we'll take that elk, snip it off the hide, clean out the under fur as best as you can. I use my fingers, but a little brush goes a long way. Take our hair, put that in our hair stacker, give it a couple stacks. Lay that right on top of that last foam wing. So nice thing about using 150 denier Lagerton is that you've got good strength and then when you break it off you can kind of laugh about it because you're on film. You got the Pettigene bobbin. Important. It was right back in. Back in business. Make sure we got that wing in there real nice and tight. 
just to make sure we're all locked down. Take a couple more wraps here on the. I can take my scissors and cut off the stub ends. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, rubber legs to this. Um, I like the centipede legs or the uh, barred round rubber from Hairline. Both of them work really well. We're looking for pieces that are approximately an inch and a half long. So I've kind of pre-measured that out to three inches. We're going to tie one of those in on each side. There we've got kind of crossed rubber legs there. We've got two on each side, added movement. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in a parachute post. I've cut two strands of this McFly foam, or excuse me, McFly lawn off. And I'm going to tie those in right at the center. Right in between the wings there. So I'll get those kind of balanced out. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that up into the parachute position. Take my thread. We're making base confinement wraps here so that we have a, a post to wrap our hack on. I'll make a couple wraps in the front just to kind of help lock that down. So for those of us who have a little problem with parachute posts, one of the quintessential tightener uppers is a little zap -a gap to drop on your bodkin. Give our glue just a moment there to kind of set up. You can see we've got our post sticking straight up in the air. I'm going to go back to the dubbing. So here I've got a, a feather from a whiting bugger pack. I'll kind of tie that in on both sides of the post, making sure it's on there nice and tight that we're not going to lose it. You may have to go over this, uh, your thread wraps there with just a little bit more dubbing. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my hackle clips, grab onto that feather that we just tied in. Snip off our excess there. And I'll just kind of move all that feather and everything kind of out of the way. Build up a little bit of a head here. I'm going to take my whip finisher now. Snip off the excess hackle there. The last step here is just going to be to shorten that post up just a little bit since we make it a little bit larger to, to help uh, help us wind. And there you have a completed half down golden. It's one of my favorites over 20 years too.